Hello everyone, welcome to episode 4 of our Bloons Tower Defense 6 Commentary Challenges. I'm your host, A Chunk of Metal, and today we've got a special challenge from Almond over at the A Chunk of Metal Discord. This challenge was an absolute beast, it pushed me to my limits. What you're about to see is just a snippet of the relentless 3 hour ordeal that tested my patience to the extreme. Alright, sniper monkey to start. I'm gonna sell it on round 3 to get the uh, attack tower. Then I'm going to place attack tower so that it can barely see the tracks so that everything goes in the same place. And then the rest of the placement of the attack throwers doesn't matter. So it's going to go like right there. And this single thing is going to carry me all the way into wave 30. So now I get to just upgrade it to 2-2. Two, two. Once I get this guy to 2-2, two, two, I'm going to place down another tech thrower immediately. Once I have the money. More money, Spongebob. Round 20, by the way. Round 20, if you're not doing this strat, is the hardest round. And then round 23, is if you beat round 20, is like the next hardest round. Like I was saying earlier, the placement doesn't really matter, but this one's going to throw them all sorts of places. And we're essentially going to rush to mines from here. It is absolutely insane how overpowered this tower actually is on this game mode. Keep in mind, this is just the normal balloons rounds, but everything is regrown. The spike factory is so overpowered that they don't even pop half the half the tax most of the time. Half the tax are still remaining by the time they're done popping.
so you might be thinking to yourself, just how overpowered two spike factories are, they're going to be carrying the rest of the game. But things aren't quite going so well without the Monkey Village. Uh, we have the Monkey Village set to prevent regrow, so even if they can, even if they could regrow, which they can't because there's so many tacks and they're going so fast, they don't regrow, so it helps. We've got mines on both of them in the village town. We're doing the alchemist for the buff. factory upgrade that to spike balls just rushing all these spike factories to spike balls because it's absolutely vital for the end rounds work and it still took me an hour to do this off stream in addition to the two hours that's three freaking hours I've spent on this challenge and I spent two hours getting coached by Almond himself one to spike balls. <clears throat> we only need four spike factories total to win this, so that's all we're going to place. Uh, we're rushing everything to spike mines as fast as possible.
Ever wondered how to give your towers that personal touch? How to be renaming them to be something that feels more you? It's a little trick I've got up my sleeve, and maybe, just maybe, I'll share it with you. To rename your monkeys, you have to go to the in-game trophy shop under miscellaneous. You can purchase the name tag and rename your monkeys, but you can only rename your monkeys in solo mode. I haven't made it clear enough yet. Let me say it again. The Spike Factory is overpowered. It's like having a secret weapon that just decimates everything in its path. Unbelievable. This one was a beast. I mean, seriously tough. But you know what? With the Spike Factory at our side and a bit of that whatever-it-takes attitude, what seemed like an insurmountable challenge turned out to be a walk in the park. Goes to show, with the right strategy, anything's possible. We're not done yet. We're heading into the final stretch, the last three rounds, and let me tell you, they're the toughest of them all. But with our arsenal and our wits, victory is within our reach. So now that I know how to beat the challenge, I'm curious if I could place a boat, because I did try the boat originally and the boat could make it like 17 rounds by itself. So with the spike factory and the boat, I, I wonder if I could finish this with a boat instead of a spike factory, or, or with a boat in addition to the spike factories. How would you beat this challenge? Let me know in the comments.
For those of you who thrive on crafting devilishly hard challenges or simply enjoy witnessing my torment, feel free to leave your challenge codes in the comment section. I'm eager to take on what you've got, and if you're curious to see me push to the brink of frustration, don't forget to check out the full VOD linked in the video description. Thank you all for tuning in, and a huge shout out to Almond for this nerve wracking challenge. I'm already bracing myself for the next one. Bro, the Spike Factory, though? The Spike Factory is probably. the GOAT. It, it's, uh. The Spike Factory is goaded. Absolutely goaded. <laughs>